Welcome back to my channel. We're going to do one of the easiest weekday dinners, tortellini soup. So let's get right into it. So first we're going to brown off our meat. I'm using sweet Italian sausage. You can use chicken, turkey, beef. Just remember if you don't use something that's seasoned, you're going to go heavier than when the season and then you're going to see me go. Next, I get to play with my little toy, right? So I've been watching my videos and realized how much I was chopping beans and peppers. So TikTok, you know, had me in the chokehold, so I went ahead and got this chopper. Let me tell you something. This is a game changer. Link below. But um, this is really something I spent my own money to get. It really is a time save. Once you may just cook through, you're gonna add your pepper and onion. I'm using a sweet onion, and you see the red bell pepper, orange bell pepper. You can use green if you prefer. I like sweet bell peppers that are red. That's my preference, but I have to swap it out sometimes. Not a big thing. So once you have cooked off your onions for some time, starting to get a little translucent, that's when you're gonna add your garlic. I'm using my favorite frozen garlic. I don't use garlic. I don't think you get the notes of garlic. It's just kind of muted, but you can. Um, but I prefer to use the frozen garlic. And you're always gonna put in your garlic after your onion peppers that way it doesn't burn um, mine is frozen so I got a little protection from that so all good so now we're gonna put crushed tomatoes now if you want a more rich tomato flavor I um, mean you don't have issues with heartburn like I know a lot of people do then you could add tomato paste and then cook it in with your your meat and your onions and peppers and then add the crushed tomatoes I chose not to go this way it's a soup I wanted to be a little lighter on the tomato side now I'm going to use one of my favorite seasonings. It's the Italian herbs, better than bouillon. It just really kicks a lot harder than just regular dried Italian herbs. Now once we mix in our Italian herb seasoning, I'm going to go ahead and go in with some red pepper flakes. Now the amount I'm using right here is not going to make it spicy, but if you have a preference for more spicy food, you could use hot Italian sausage, or you can just go heavier here. And if you really want to kick, you can add a little cayenne to it. But I'm just doing it for just a fullness of a flavor profile and not for the heat in this particular recipe. Now, what would home cooking be if you don't add a little garlic powder and onion powder? Now, remember what I said, if you're not using Italian sausage or something that's pre-seasoned, go heavier than you see me go on your Italian seasoning, your onion powder, your garlic powder. It's going to be super important um, that you go a little heavier. Now I'm also using Olive Garden Scarlet and Herb Seasoning. It really just has kind of like the Italian seasoning um, taste to it, but it has like a little of a wine note to it. And I really enjoy the complexity that it brings. You know, you can use that if you want to, or you can use an all-purpose seasoning to bring a little bit more salt into your dish. That's really a personal preference, but I do enjoy the Olive Garden uh, Garden Herb Seasons. Now, I'm cooking this on about medium. You want to let it cook a little while. Let all your seasonings come together. Um, that way you can be sure that it's seasoned properly before you go to your next step. Now here I'm going to add some sugar. You can also add monk fruit if you're watching your sugar intake. But this is not to make the sauce sweet. It's to balance the acidity of the tomatoes and just create some balance in the stitch. It's optional, but I highly suggest it. All right, now you're going to get everything mixed together. Put the top on and let it cook for a little while. Um, just let everything come together a little bit. And then we're gonna get to the soup part, right? So how do we make the soup? I'm just gonna add some broth. I'm adding unsalted beef broth. I always try to get unsalted um, broth when I can because it allows me to control the salt so I don't accidentally oversalt my food. So that's just a pro tip. I always try to get low sodium or no salt beef broth or chicken broth. Now 
Now, once you add your bra, you're gonna get everything mixed together and then you're gonna bring it back up to a bowl because we're gonna drop our pasta. Now I'm using frozen uh, four cheese tortellini. You can use the fresh pack or you can use the dry pack. Um, just follow the instructions on the bag for this particular Kroger frozen tortellini. It takes like two to three minutes. So because of that, as soon as I brought mine up to a bowl, now it is frozen. Once it comes back up to a bowl, I only have to go about three minutes and I am mostly done. I'm just gonna do my final additions. Um, these final additions are completely up to your preferences, but again, follow the instructions on the pasta that you decide to use. Now, for my final adjustments, I chose to add a little ricotta. You can also add uh, heavy whipping cream if you want to bring in some creaminess to your soup. Again, this is a soup, so you most people are going to prefer to add a little bit of cream, not ricotta. I know there's some hardcore ricotta haters out there, but just use some heavy whipping cream if that's, if that's your preference. Now, once we add that ricotta or that heavy whipping cream, we're done. Our pasta is cooked and we really just want to let it incorporate. Maybe bring it up to a bowl and then it, you're done. That's it. You can put it in your bowl and plate it how you prefer. Today, I'm going to add a little mozzarella on top of mine because I like it a little bit more cheesy on the top. You feel me? So again, as always, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned something. Now keep in mind, I just showed you how to make pasta sauce again with or without tomato paste. Cause I mean, how many people have tomato paste on hand for real? But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll try it on a nice cold night. Um, hopefully we're gonna get into spring soon, but wherever you are, I hope you're well and I hope you enjoy. Have a good night. Oh yeah. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to this channel and let me know what you want me to bring you next.